Welcome back. Here we are getting started again. So what I'm doing here is sanding the back of this body kit with 80 grit. I'm shaping some of the corners here uh, to get a tighter flush fit finish uh, and fit on our car there. So I just need to sand down that corner a little bit more. And we're also cutting out the bottom. We're notching the bottom bolt areas for the fender. If you see what I'm doing here, I have to cut some of the body kit right in there. Uh, so when we bolt it up, our fender bolts are not going to hit. You can see that I'm going to cut it out once we put it in. I wanted to notch it. I didn't want to bolt it with the fender. I wanted to notch it out like that so we could just have our fender bolts. All right, so now what I'm doing is wiping everything down with wax and grease remover. Okay wiping the back we blew everything down really good with the air chuck at first now we're wiping everything down because we are going to use our panel bond and bond this body kit on right we already dry fitted it it has a couple of screw holes in there what i wanted to do was mold it in so here's the stuff they supplied me with the body kit company right so i'm going to put this on the back of our kit here and i'm going to fuse it onto the body and then screw it in tight and let it dry a little bit more panel bond in there. It looked like it needed a little bit more. Then I'm gonna push it in really tightly. We have our holes all aligned, right? Our holes are already there for a good fitment. I have to make sure I get it in the same hole there. Push it up a little bit more and snug it in really tight. Now, once we have some of that stuff sanded out, I'm gonna use my good epoxy, the stuff that I really like. So that's all we're doing. We're using a little, like an ice cream spoon here, it looks like, but it's actually a paint stick. All right, and we're just pushing our epoxy into our seam here, and we're gonna do a nice finger mold here. We're not gonna completely get rid of that line. And that little section where it was a little too deep, all I did was mix a little bit of body filler and put a skin on it. And you can see now that I'm sanding that skin flat with my DA with 80 grit paper on it. All right, so we're hitting all of our final body work with 80 grit. And with the polyester putty that we're using, we could prime right over 80 grit. Now you can see that a couple of little pinholes there, right? That will just mix a little bit of filler up and just fill those up really quickly. Not a big deal, all right? Everything's looking pretty good now. Now I'm using a 320 to just go over everything, just smoothing it out a little bit more. And then we're going to blow everything down, wax and grease, remove everything down. You want to make sure it's nice and clean before you start laying your primer, right? Uh, with my 320 grit, but I, I like, um, it's not that smooth. All right, so we got our polyester filler primer here. So we're mixing our mixture here. I think it's like three ounces per quart of hardener, three or four ounces of hardener per, per quart mixture. So I'm testing out the new gun that I got here and the tip was actually too small and it started spraying a little dry. All right, this is our last coat. I'm pretty sure this was my third coat here. Just going over the car one last time, getting all the body work there he is really well. Putting a nice thick coat of our primer on there. And uh, after this, we're good to go. All right, we'll let that cure. I let it cure for a day. Next day, hit it with 400. And uh, we're in the home stretcher ready to paint. So you wanna make sure to clean your guns out right after you spray this stuff. You do not want to leave your gun sitting around with this polyester putty because it gets hard but i ended up getting it out it's just the primer was so thick and it started setting up so quick then we'll come back tomorrow assess the bodywork, sand everything down get it nice and clean and uh we're in the home stretch for painting so i'll see you in the next videos thanks for watching bye